I'll take the money. Damn it. Let this be a lesson to you, kids. Cliches equal bad. Cliches equal random bar fights with Johnny Bad over here. Welcome back to Fights in Tight Spaces. Uh, recap, last time we beat level one, and now we're on to level two, and it's... Uh, we got a long one here. Uh, let's take a look at our deck here. Um, we did go with the Slasher Bleed deck. And I've got 20 cards, which is usually, which is kind of a heavy deck. We might be looking to do some removals later. Um, I'm really trying not to fall in the trap that I did last time where I had too much mobility and not enough deal damage. All right. Let's see what we got here. This guy, uh, deal 10 damage up to... Oh, target is no block. All right, we really don't want to get hit by him. I have an idea here that I want to try. I'm curious how this works. Okay, unfortunately, he'll still hit me. It's 28... So he's going to deal 10 damage. I want to... I'll put up a block. And... So this will only deal... So this will push him back into the wall, but that'll only deal an additional 4. This is just going to be the more amount of damage. Shoot! Everything came up millhouse there. So I got a lot of these guys that I got to deal with here. So I'm going to end up shoving this guy here. So let's do a little bit of work on him before I shove him. So I need to keep one momentum or one. Uh, no, that's not momentum. I'm, I'm going to keep calling it energy. I need to keep one energy to use the shift to move here. So I think I can get a... Another heavy strike off on him. It's 14. Do a three punch combo. Shove him off to the side. And he won't turn and face me, so. And shift. sneeze. Nope. Feeling fast. Don't you hate that when you gotta sneeze and you know the sneeze is coming, but the sneeze never comes. So the easiest way to get out of trouble here is to just murder this guy. So if I jumping stab him, I'll close the gap, move to, nobody else is attacking here but him. So he's got six bleed. He is dead next turn. I can focus my attention on this guy now. So I'll hit him with a Snap Strike. You gain a plus one damage modifier. I will hit him with a Puncture. Get a little bit of bleed on him. And I'll maybe swap spots with him just to gain some more advantageous positioning on this guy in the future. Wait, he didn't die? Oh, I shouldn't have actually I shouldn't have actually swapped him. That that was on me. But he ain't dead next turn either. If I slash this guy, he's dead next turn. So if I do four, this will do two. It's better to do a bleed on you and then shift over. Shoot. 
shift, a jumping stab. And I gotta get points for that stylish finish right there. We be styling and profiling. Get enemies, complete the turn, got some money. I really like shove as a card. Like that repositioning is just is super nice. I think this is gonna replenish some health, so or give me some max health on this one as the as a reward. So I'm gonna do this one, because I am a little in dire need of health. So this guy, I need to protect him, but he's still gonna attack me. I wish I had a kick right now for that guy. What if I just quick... Jab him. Ooh, I should have hidden blade that. Hang on, that one's on me. I want a hidden blade. Uh, jab him. Get a little bit of bleed off. Target has attack. I only think you can attack one away. Oh, I'll just end my turn there. How many guys do I have to kill? And is there a time limit that I need to kill them in? I just need to defeat three enemies while making sure he doesn't die. Can I deal enough damage to just shift by this guy? So that's, he's got 21 minus the three bleed. That would be 18. Oh yeah, I've got that. I'll heavy strike him. Shoot, give him a slash for good measure. And then swap, wait. I misclicked. I misclicked the... Uh... Okay, hang on. Try this again. Heavy strike. Slash him. That's kind of... That, that was dumb. Now swap him. He's going to go second, so... Oh. Now this worries me. But fear not, for I have an idea. You're going to deal 12 damage. You're your informant I have to protect, but you're going to attack me regardless. You're going to deal 12 damage second. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift you over there, so you're going to punch this guy. I am then going to front kick him. That's 18. You're going to deal 12, so I just need to deal like 6 more damage to you which I'm going to be able to do with the punctures. You got 14 plus the bleed. You've got 12. Oh no, I'm still going to take damage. I miscalculated how this works. So what I really need to do is shove you off to the side. Do you have any bleed? No, it's probably just best to front kick you. Bleed you. And then shift. Wait, did I miscalculate something here? You still have one health. I want to play this. You are not dead yet. I want to do a quick kick on you. Should I do this? And then a heavy strike just to get a bunch of raw damage off on you. And you will gain damage at the start of each turn, which I don't like. You're going to go second. 
you're gonna go first. So I'll have your 14 damage to pile on. Shift. No, I won't because you don't have range. Okay, that's fine. Snap strike. Get a little bit of bleed off. This one, four damage. Okay, so he's got four bleed on him. That's that's fine. I am happy with that. I think what I need to do here is kick you away from me so you can't auto-attack me. You now have bleed. You've got the two block, 12, 14. This though, 16. You're dead. The, uh, the informant I didn't even hit once. Nor did he get hit. I like the inf I like to protect the informants way better because at least they do something. And I gained 15 health. The big block. That's kind of neat. I don't really need it though. I don't really use block. And now we go to the gym to get pumped up. We have to pump your muscles. You girly man. Ooh, swap costing nothing is awesome. Again, it's all about making the most with your small amount of energy. Look at your puny muscles. We're here to get you to the gym to get you pumped up, you girly man. The fuck is that? Jab. Advances when player uses a momentum card. So if I tried a momentum, interesting. So if I momentum, he's gonna shift. Interesting. Let's do a kick on you. Complete the fight within seven turns. That's all I gotta do. All right, I can make that work. This might get rough. Can move back if I need, when I need to, I should say. Caltrops is kind of useless here. The two bleed just isn't significant enough. But I can heavy blade him, or heavy strike him. Give him the old three whack and back up. Let's do... This guy's annoying and I want him to die. But I could definitely... You know what? I want this guy to die. Broke his block, put bleed on him. I'm gonna heavy strike him. And just to be a dick, give him a quick hit. Oh! <laughs> right on the table! I wonder how long his body persists. Oh, well, that answers that question. All right, let's jab. Puncture. Puncture. Snap strike. And back up. the hell was that? Huh. You're not dead next turn, but I can make you dead next turn. I think I would rather get... start putting bleed on you. Yes, I'd rather put bleed on you. You've got five bleed. 
you I can kill with a simply with a slash. You you are dead. You I'd like to just kind of move you off to the side. Again, you are dead. Now, or you are dead, I should say. I'm just going to end my turn here. Let's try something here. Swap spots with you. Ah, it worked. So you're not quite dead yet, but we're gonna try to make you. We're not gonna be able to make you dead. But I can at least prevent a good chunk of the damage you're gonna do to me. Counter stab and I'm gonna end my turn. Nicely done. I'm going to do a couple of fun things here. First off, I want to front kick this guy. Yeah, I'm going to front kick him away. I don't need to deal with him. He can, I would do a jumping strike into him, but he would then deal damage to me. What I would la rather do... Ooh, I would still take damage from... Not Doctor Doctor there. The Not Doctor Doctor is going to do 8 to me. Alright, here's what we're going to do. Three hit the Not Doctor Doctor. Jumping stab this guy. He dealt six, but at least he's not infecting me with a random hit of something. You've got five bleed on you. I can effectively kick you out of the way and ignore you. I'm going to end my turn here. I want to see what the Not Doctor Doctor does. Alright, so he turned to face me. Good to know. So I'm going to unload everything I got into this Doctor. I'm going to start with a... the Heavy Strike. I'm going to roll back this turn. I'm going to take back something I did. I'm going to free movement here so the doctor turns and faces me, right? Then I'm going to slash the good doctor or puncture him. I'm going to slash the good doctor and I'm going to get four bleed going on him. Then I'm going to get out of his way by heavy striking that guy. So now the doctor's got four bleed on him. Now comes the fun part. I'm going to free movement two away. He's going to advance on me. I can now use the jumping strike. So I'm going to need to do 11 more damage. Shouldn't be a problem. Snap strike him. Three punch combo. The deal 12. And the good doctor is dead. Oh, that one was hard. New upgraded card. Anything good?
That seems like it'd be fun. Brass Knuckles. Uh, shoot. Let's take an event. The only clue left at a crime scene is a discarded matchbook. It points to a nearby bar. <laughs> it's a giant cliche. Follow the clue. I'll take the money. Damn it. Let this be a lesson to you, kids. Clichés equal bad. Clichés equal random bar fights with Johnny Bad over here. Wow. Johnny Bad over here does a lot of damage. Okay. Uh, ranged attack. One to two tiles. Gives other enemies a plus one damage modifier. Dude. Alright, we'll do... We'll start taking out the goons first. Scratch that. I'm gonna do something more fun. Heavy blade. Get in this guy's face. Do a bunch of damage to him. Shove him into the motorcycles. Dealing three damage. And then shift. All right, let's finish Johnny Baseball Bat. That's 10 damage. He's still got... So he's got three bleed. He's dead. We have killed Johnny Baseball Bat. I'm going to take a step back and get a more advantageous position on his Goonies next turn. Security's arrived. Of course they have. All right, that's fine. I'm first going to... Take out Johnny Base. Do a bunch of damage on Johnny Baseball Bat's minion here. Auto attack. No, that's not going to work. I was debating using Caltrops, but I would have been at risk of taking damage, and I really didn't feel like doing that. How much do you have left? You've still got a lot of health here. I'm gonna swap spots with you. I'm gonna jab you. I'm gonna slash you. And then I'm going to heavy strike the sh shit out of you. Now security's arrived. Okay, this is going to be fun. <laughs> That's the little things. Brass knuckles you. I'm gonna scratch you. I'm gonna take a step back. And I'm gonna snap you. And you've got 19 blade on you. Hey, look, it's Johnny Baseball Bat's twin brother. Jacob ba Baseball Bat. I think this is going to work. No, it didn't work how I was hoping. Shift. And... And then I'm going to hit you with the three-punch combo. Ooh. Or should I don't have any, like, objective on this? No. We know exactly how this goes.
I'm gonna end the turn. That was a bad, that was a rough draw. I'm gonna do a free movement here. Nope, this is still gonna work. Hidden Blade. I'm gonna do a, a jab. A heavy strike. I'm going to shove you over here. So you now have four bleed on you. This is the weaker guy, which is fine. Shift behind him. Give him a heavy strike. And he's no longer a problem. I still got to worry about this security guy. And Jacob Baseball Bat over here. Shove you. Shift. Give you a quick kick. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize he was that low. Oh, that guy deals 10 damage. That would be a good reason why. And I'm just going to pile on all the damage that I can. Ultimately, this is just going to be a dance between me and this guy until I can get an ability like Heavy Strike. That's going to be enough to finish him off. That looked pretty. Oh, I defeated the enemy. He's got four, plus four health. Okay, I'll take that, I guess. That event was not worth it, in my opinion, but whatever. We deal. Oh, protect the informant. This guy's the informant. Okay, so I need to protect him. I'm going to free movement here. Give us the old heavy strike. Slash. I'm just going to shift. How many enemies do I need to defeat? I need to defeat two enemies within seven turns. Okay. What if I do a free movement here? Give this guy a quick kick. That's fine. Do a snap strike on this guy. Am I going to be able to break through his defense? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. So the scratch is completely relevant because I was unable to... You know what? I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. I did way more damage to that guy than I was expecting. I'm going to kind of do a little bit of a janky move here. Trust me, this is all going to make sense in a second. I'm going to brass knuckles up. So this is going to deal two damage and ignore and ignore block. So I'm just going to be hitting this guy with like six bleed. That guy has 15 bleed on him. He's just dead. There's, He's just dead. Nice. So I got 15 health for protecting the informant. I got a new... I can get a new card if I want. What the hell is this? Oh, to heavy enemies. Yeah, I'm going to have a problem with them here pretty soon. Oh, God. A shower. Everybody, firmly grasp your soap. We're going in. Firmly grasp your soap, we're going in. Oh, that's fun. So let's see who counts as a heavy enemy here. You are not a heavy enemy. You should be a heavy enemy. 
Yeah, there he is, a heavy enemy. We'll counter incoming attacks. Shit. So I really need to figure out something for him. Why don't I free movement? Okay, that's better. Heavy strike you. Uh, do a slash and do a puncture. You've suddenly got four bleed on you. You're going to take four damage, three, then two, then one. Not a problem. All right, this is going to be a little bit of a harder one. I think what I want to do is this. Throw you into you. That did not do as much as I was hoping. You don't have enough bleed on you to... Alright, you will die on the next turn. I am no longer worried about you. I can deal with you. I'm going to start working on you now for bleed. And now I can just shift away. How does this work? Do 12 damage to an adjacent enemy is twice as much for heavy guys. Okay, yeah, he's just going to be a pain to kill. So let's just kick him away for right now. I'm done with him. And just finish you off for shits and grins. So I really need to get manipulate events so that So you have 28 health, you have 35. I'm going to hidden blade you. I'm going to heavy attack you. And now you have a not too insignificant amount of damage. I'm suddenly in a position I don't like very much. Let's see if I can't make some magic happen here. So I will be able to get out. I want to... And you too now have a not so insignificant amount of damage on you. Oh, that counted as damage against you. So this guy's days right now are numbered. I'm pretty much guaranteed you are dead. At this point, I'm just applying more momentum. How do I deal with you? I don't know how to deal with you. You've only got 17 health left. If I can get a... Bless the run. I only end up taking one damage from the big guy, or one set of damage from the big guy. And that's enough for me. Stagger. That's kind of neat. Options play. Wow. That's pretty good. I think I've got... I think I've already got enough damage. Or I've got enough cards. Enhanced targets. Enhanced targets. I wonder what this is. I wonder what that third symbol was for the reward. Oh my. Let's 
So reach a five combo, complete the turn, the fight within eight turns. Well, I have no problem doing a five combo. Is this guy gonna auto attack? No, he's not. I can just wail on him. Gain one momentum, snap strike, a one modifier. Block, so now he's only got 21 left. I'm going to shove you off to the side. We're going to kind of see what happens here. Ooh. I shot a colleague. So what's your shtick? Shield bash. All right. I'm going to Haltrops, because apparently that deals bleed on a move. Not sure how. I'm going to shove you over here. Now, this is really interesting to me how this is going to work. Ha! Huh. Did not work quite how I was hoping, but that's all right. Swap spots with you. Nice. I'm too far away for that guy now. No, wait, roll back. I want a free movement. Move off to the side. Here. Let me give a little puncture. And that's good enough for me. Just do a quick kick, I guess. And just back up here. Get out of the way of danger first. Heavy strike you, but I also want you to get front kicked into the range of that guy. Nice. One less problem. Swap with me. Roll that back. Free movement here, swap. Heavy strike, heavy strike. Scratch or front kick? Scratch is gonna put enough bleed on him to kill him next turn. So if I shove you there, shove you into... Actually, no, I'm going to puncture you. Get a little bleed and shift. But I wouldn't kill for it. What I would give for a kick right about now. Snap strike to try and build up some damage, maybe? Five damage, no. To do damage and ignore block. Slash isn't gonna do anything. No, it's not. So I wasn't able to beat it within the amount of turns. Free movement. Hidden blade. Didn't do what I wanted it to. 
Well, at this point, I reached the five combo, which was the big thing. This will work. Then a three punch combo and a slash. So what I really need to do is I need to power up some of these. Oh, that would have given me maximum momentum, which would have been energy. Okay. Plus two damage modifier while this card is in your hand. Okay. I'm going to take the event again. A confidential informant says there's been some chatter about a major deal, but the details are easy. Gain 50% enhancement or 50% chance to lose. Damn it. Alright, final boss. Or final boss for this level. I'm fighting here. He has an auto attack. Will auto attack. Shoot. You have an auto attack. No, you don't. So what I can do is... Hopefully this doesn't trigger him. No, it doesn't. Fifteen damage. I just need to like free movement away from this guy and do a caltrops. I don't like that, but that's the best plan I got right now because I don't have much for range on this guy. Has auto attack, will auto attack. I'm in a hidden blade. I'm a big ol' kick. Now let's see what happens here. Nice! So he took 27 damage on that turn. Does this guy count as a heavy attacker? No, he doesn't. So what I need to do is, once again, kind of... No, that's still not going to work. really don't like any of my options here, so let's just back up and end the turn. I, cannot, I can't play this cautiously enough. Kind of how I'm envisioning this. You go third, you go second. Regrettable. Or is it? Yes, it is. Because I forgot about that. So I'm going to perform the old shift and shove. Tendon. Kind of got a bad draw on this one. But the only thing I can do is just oop, walk away. Now I'm in a really shitty position. And I'm in a very shitty position. This one's gonna hurt. Way 
way too much damage there. Shove you into the table or something like that. Caltrops? Slash? Nope, nothing. Alright, nine damage. I can live with that. I don't care if I can't damage you. I just want to get the hell out of the way. Make some room. Let's do Brass Knuckles. I'm gonna shove you. Wait, can I just... What? <laughs> that actually worked? Nice. Okay, well. Um, every time you skip a card reward, gain five health. Combo never drops below one. I'm skipping a lot of card rewards, so that's fine. Well, that was a successful-ish episode. <laughs> I can't believe I was able to kill the guy by throwing him out the window. Uh, Jade is there. The underworld crap. Come to problem. All right, well, this is as good a spot as any to end it. Thank you all very much for your support on this series, and uh, we'll be seeing you next time. Later.